To download Ableton Live, go to the website of Ableton, go to www.ableton.com and then when you're over there, go to the right top corner of the screen, then cl click on Login or Register. Then uh, log in here with your username and password. And if you're a new user, you need to create a new account. Let me log in real quick. then click on account and then under licenses uh, you need to make sure that you are on the licenses and packs and then over here you have the Ableton Live version that you have a license for uh, Windows 64 or Mac OS and then click on download and now it starts downloading Ableton that might take a while or 10 whiles then when you're finished, minimize the browser and then go to your downloads folder. Downloads over here. Now this is a compressed zip file, we need to uncompress it. You can right click here, you can say extract all. Now it asks where do you want to extract Ableton to, to which folder. It's going to extract in a folder in the downloads folder on Windows. So I click on extract. On macOS, this process is similar, but it looks a little bit different. Okay, now that's done. I get a new window and over here is the installer. Uh, don't mind data one, data two, data three. Just double click on Ableton Live Standard Installer and now I get a dialog. Click on Install and click on Yes. And now it says it is ready to install and click on Next. We have to agree with the end user license agreement. In order to do that, click on I accept the terms in the license agreement and then click on next. Now it asks, where do you want to install Ableton on which log in which location? The default location that it prompts is perfectly fine for me. So I click on next and I click on install. Now it's going to start the install process and this can take a couple of minutes up until 10 minutes or so. I will fast forward this video so you don't have to wait for that. And when you see this screen, then your installation is finished. We're not done yet, but first click on finish. Now it says installation successfully completed, click on close. Let's start Ableton. I click on the search bar and I say Ableton. And when I click on Ableton 12, it will start. Now it asks if you want private networks to access this app. Yes, I will allow that. This is the license dialog. You have to authorize your license, so click on authorize with ableton.com. My browser asks if I want to allow Ableton link with Ableton 12 standard. I say open link. Now it says live successfully authorized. Now I'm on the website, but let's go back to Ableton Live. And it says here, you have successfully authorized live. Thank you and have fun. Let's click OK. It says setting up core library. And after a while, the example project will open. And now you can do your thing.